Hallelujah. I praise the Lord who worked through KCCN throughout this year. I would like to thank all of you who have cooperated and supported KCCN. The pandemic has brought great difficulties in this era. However, it was also an opportunity for KCCN. KCCN produces media and trains church workers online with it. Lockdown or quarantine has not been a barrier for us. Rather, Filipino churches and Korean missionaries were interested in us and were able to work together. We conducted training on Facebook with the content we had produced so far. It is not easy for ministers to be trained online and through the media. It would not have been possible without the enthusiasm of these trainees. This happened at the beginning of the course. Orientation was held with Zoom, and one trainee's scene was unusual. She had joined her training while riding a motorcycle as she drove home from work. I was touched by her, and I was also worried about her safety. I would like to share the testimony of Ms. Marjorie Kapin. Araw po sa lahat. Ako po si Marjorie Bueno Kapin from Christ Centered Bible Christian Ministries, Kainta. So ako po ay isa sa mga naging participant ng Teach the Church to Pray training last January po. So kahit online lamang po ito ay marami po akong natutunan dahil po ito pong training na ito ay tinuturuan po tayo sa tama pong pananalangin. So ito po ay nilalaman po ng sampung lessons. No? Dito po nalaman ko po ang tamang pananalangin. Sabi ko nga po kanina, so ang pananalangin po na nakakonekta no? sa nais po ng Diyos na atin pong hilingin at dapat po nating sambitin sa Kanya. Hindi lamang po ang pananalangin na nais natin kung hindi po yun nais po ng Diyos para po sa atin. At maging ang mga bagay po na nais niyang maranasan para po sa atin. So natatandaan ko po yung topic 1 to 3. Meron po dito na sinasabi, teach the church to pray with scriptures, forgiveness, and healing. So yun po yung topic 1 to 3. Hindi lamang po pala basta-basta yung pananalangin. Hindi lamang po pala ito kung ano lang po yung naisipan mo o nais mong sabihin agad kay Lord. Meron po pala itong mga tamang paparaanan. So ayun po no, kung ano po yung nais natin, ay yun na, hindi po ganun. Ito po ay may mga tamang paraan. So, dito po sa training na to, uh, malalaman po natin at matututunan po natin yung tamang paraan o yung proseso po sa pananalangin. Isa lamang ito sa natatandaan ko po no, sa lesson 1. Yung teach the church to pray with scriptures. In, in, uh, kailangan po natin ilapat yung, sa panalangin po natin ang mga sinasabi po ng salita ng Diyos na yung atin pong maaasahan at ang pag-angkin po sa mga ito. Ang mga pangako niya na magkakaroon po ng katuparan sa mga naniniwala. So, tinuruan din po kami dito sa training na ito ng four movements of prayers. So, number one, seek God's agenda. Number two, study the scriptures. Number three, scribble a prayer. Kailangan po natin talagang gumawa ng sumulat ng panalangin at magpasabit po sa nililid ng Espiritu Santo sa atin. Na tandaan ko pong sinabi ni Pastor dun sa kanyang mga videos, no? Our prayer must not end with an amen, but in ob obedience po. So, ayun, no? Yun lamang po at nawa po ay maka-attend din po kayo ng training dahil po sa sampung lessons po na ito, mabubuksan po talaga ang ating kaisipan patungkol po sa pananalang. Yun lamang po at marami pong salamat. OFWs open, participate in every training from Dubai, Saudi Arabia, Hong Kong, etc. 
I would like to introduce one of them, Sister Doris Oracion from Hong Kong, trained in Bible Project New Testament course. I thought she would say that she understood and uh, read the Bible through KCCM program. But she testified. She read the Bible through that training and the, her life were changing. She became an evangelist, sharing the gospel with her friends in Hong Kong and leading them to church. Let's hear the testimony of Sister Doris together. Uh, please choose recording sound. God is good all the time. Then, in a fire for my family and my sis, na ako ay mapatpat sa bansang mga kaya, binago niya akong buhay. Nakatanda siya ko ng salvation at ng bautism. At dito ako nagsimula na kilala ng Panginoon Jesus sa Bible. Hanggang sa napadpad ako sa isang network training ko na tayo sa Kalayaan Church Christian Network Training Program. At napalaki, napakalaki ang tulong ko sa akin dahil marami pa akong natutunan nang mabasa ko ang mga testament. Nagkaroon ako ng kagalakan, kapayapaan, pag-ibig, at mas lumawak ang aking panunipo at mas nakilala ko pa ang Panginoon ng Yesus nang mabasa ko ang mga Pestama. Marami ako so, yung mic cable kasi natutunan at nagkaroon ako ng mission sa buhay ko para sa akin. Napakalaki na nang kapagod na ako dahil natanggap ko ang kanyang salvation and I want to share to others. Tinuruan ako ng Panginoon na humayo at magbigay ng kalawa para sa kanya. Yung dating ako na mahiyain ay nawala. Pinalitan niya ng kalakasan, karunungan, wisdom and knowledge dahil na rin sa tulong ng Kalayaan Church Christian Network Training at ako ay buong nagpapasalamat dahil alam kong hindi aksidente ito, kundi ito ang kalooban ng Panginoon Jesus sa kanya ko. Upang ako ay lumabot sa aking spiritual journey at Christian birth. Natuto ako lumayo at i-share ang kanyang salita, ang kanyang salvation para sa ito. Sabi niya sa kanilang salita sa John 2.16 For if God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son that whoever believes on Him should not perish and have eternal life. Napakaganda ng mensahe ng Panginoon na siyang tumatak sa aking kasama. And to God be all the glory, honor and praise is for sins. Ako po si Doris Oracion o at Dabuli ng Panginoon at naging membro ng KCNN Online Network Training. We just run the program and uh, it was surprising that the Holy Spirit was working through it. We also had training in 2021 and 22, but more focused on this period is creating contents. Thankfully, KCCN was able to collaborate with international organizations. They are organizations that train ministers. Global Proclamation Commission, GPRO, KCCN Chairman Dr. Jason Tan connected us with GPRO. And we are working with TN, Teach Every Nation, founded by Bruce Wilkinson, author of The Prayer of Jabez. TN, we are translating TN's survey of the Bible and the 70 times by 7 course dealing with forgiveness into Tagalog. 
And we are going to do audio dubbing because I am convinced that these courses would be helpful for Filipino ministers. I would like to introduce Gemma Sikad, who translated survey of the Bible. It is really not easy to translate eight English lectures into Tagalog, 30 minutes per video. Thank you very much, Gemma, for her dedication to the work. Let's listen to his, her video message. Good afternoon and uh, praise God for another annual meeting of the KCCN. My name is Gemma Sikat from Paranaque City, Philippines. It's truly a blessing. It's been a blessing and joy and a privilege to be part of our translation of the Bible Project team, translating videos, lessons from English to Tagalog, which is very helpful for our Christians, um, pastors, and various ministry workers for KCCN for the whole country. Uh, indeed, more than ever, it is a time for us to truly be bold in sharing the gospel. When Jesus told us in Matthew 28, 18 to 20, All authority has been given to me in heaven and in earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And lo, I will be with you to the end of the age. Indeed, um, we are seeing the signs of the times. Whether we like it or not, we are uh, in the end times, as uh, Jesus has warned us. So the more that we really need to do everything we can, by His grace to share the gospel boldly wherever we are in our spheres of influence. And uh, we praise God for the ministry of KCCN in the Philippines doing this, sharing the gospel and uh, producing many Bible video projects and lessons for the ministry workers. Thank you for, for your ministry. We thank you for your commitment and determination and perseverance in doing this to Pastor Giwan and the whole team. Thank you for your work. Thank you for your hard, hard work. Again, uh, congratulations uh, KCCN. Maraming salamat po and God bless us all. It is something I am particularly grateful for in 2021. It is a meeting with the Leadership International, which is working mainly in Africa. Leadership International is an international organization that has been equipping ministers. The Biblical Leadership Training Center, BLTC series, produced by Leadership International, consists of 20 subjects for minister training. There are 10 theological subjects and 10 practical subjects, such as discipleship and counseling. It is built in the spirit of the Lausanne movement. KCCN is participating in spreading this BLTC to the Philippines and Asia, and the training ministers through this. I would like to hear a message from missionary Young Hum Um, director of Leadership International. Greeting from uh, Africa and uh, the members of KCCN and brothers and sisters. Molueni, uh, <laughs> how are you? And uh, thank you for the invitation uh, to your second annual meeting. But I'm sorry that uh, I couldn't attend with you and I'm in the Madagascar and visiting here to see the farming projects and some of our uh, uh, Bible translation and uh, 
uh, the BLTC uh, translated into Malagasy and French. Um, I'm so glad that we have such a great partnership with uh, KCCN and your heart and your desire to share the word of God to the Philippines and beyond was amazing. I heard about uh, your taping uh, uh, Tagalog uh, training program for B uh, BLTC program. And I was, my heart is moving because such a great way, word of God spread in Philippines and beyond. And those who speak Tagalog and their churches can grow, church can now uh, more commit and serve the Lord right way. And the community of the churches, those who are trained, uh, the leaders are trained by the, uh, the uh, KCCN and the BLTC program. And the church can proclaim the word of God. And thank you and the uh, way that you are doing it. And thank, and thank God so much. And my brothers and sisters, and, and also in, in South Africa, we are taping the BLTC by uh, English, uh, the, the tape, to uh, reach out the world. And also, you know, uh, Reverend John also commit to uh, editing and final uh, uh, the products. And we are so glad at your partnership. And also, I'm, I'm really asking you that, uh, you know, the KCCN uh, become the herb and central part of a BLTC program spread in Asian country. And I'm, I'm, you know, your commitment and your devotion, hopefully for the future, and you become the herbs of, you know, Asian country to uh, extend a BLTC program and through that you can reach out many countries. And brothers and sisters, when you meet, please consider it. And uh, sorry that you know, I'm away, but my heart with you. And you meet through your meeting, and God's will will be revealed. And we can see His extension of God's kingdom. So uh, uh, the Philippines and beyond, and society, and that we belong to, and the church exists, more loving, more caring, and more sharing, more forgiving and we can proclaim His kingdom. Thank you! Leadership International is excited. And the KCCN is excited too, because we and the Leadership International are aiming for the same goal. We believe that building up healthy ministers and the healthy churches is building up the kingdom of God in healthy way for the kingdom of God together translating these 20 subjects into Tagalog and the turning them into video lectures it is big job initially we tried to find 20 good lecturers but God has done a wonderful things for us in January 2022, Pastor Vincent, Red Vincent, billionaires joined KCCN. The Sorok Uni Foundation sent this pastor to us. We expected Pastor Vincent to conduct training with the content we produced. This is because he has experience running a Bible school, Sorok Trinity Bible Institution. Also, I asked for a lecture on one BLTC subject, discipleship. However, his lecture preparation was sincere and he lectured naturally in front of the camera. He summed up the book well, and uh, his lecture is spiritual. That was easy to understand. I found out later, he was sharing his daily devotion live on Facebook every morning before joining KCCN. Since he has always preached in front of the camera, he was able to feel natural when recording lectures. 
we plan to record many subjects through Pastor Vincent Villones. I believe this is God's plan and uh, God's preparation. And it was because Pastor Vincent had a confidence, confidence that BLT's content is good and that is necessary and helpful for many pastors. Let's watch Pastor Vincent's message. A blessed day to all of you. I am Pastor Red Vincent Billiones, translator of BLTC from KCCN. I thank God for giving me this opportunity to translate some books from BLTC where I am also learning a lot. I also share this to our church leaders and I can see that they are also learning from those. I want to thank for our beloved Reverend Giwan Jung who work in this ministry and also to my KCC and family who trusting me and giving me this opportunity. I believe that this book can help many more pastors and church leaders and our workers to be knowledgeable about God's word with this BLTC and that this uh, surely can contribute improvements for their respected God-given ministry. So as a Christian, we should have a mentor and be a mentor all of their life. Thank you so much and God bless. These BLT's contents can be the contents of GPRO and the TN contents will be enriched the ministers. We would like to use these 20 subjects to build Bible, biblical leadership training centers to train Filipino ministers. I described build it, but I want to find such partners. Local pastors network, Bible schools, denominations, missionaries, who will train ministers with our contents. Be our partner. In the meantime, I have been thinking about copyright negatively. I thought that all our rights should be denied for the sake of the kingdom of God. So I shared it for free and uh, uploaded it to YouTube for everyone to watch it. However, Although this idea is meaningful, I think it should be reconsidered strategically because everything is open, but people don't see it very well. They only taste for a moment. We are going to turn this from public to hidden unlisted. We will provide videos to those who have signed up for our pastoral leadership certificate course. It is Galayan Biblical Leadership Training Center that recruits people to the course and conducts training. We will provide our contents. We will be partner with uh, Biblical leadership training centers and the trained Filipino ministers by these training centers. Even now, there are many missionaries who have cooperated with us in Dabao, in Baguio, in Quezon, in Tondo, etc. There are partners who have worked with uh, KCCN to train ministers. One of them is missionary Sehwang Kim from Palawan. He is president of Evangelical Biblical Institute and Tribal Training Center in Palawan and the director of mission department of Palawan District Council of Assemblies of God. He always trusted our content and used it for his training. Let's hear the message of missionary Sehwang Kim. 
Haleluya and Shalom. I'm Pastor Peter King uh, in Palawan. Uh, I was missionary uh, in Palawan since 1992. And I got a lot of help and benefit from Ministry of KCCN and Pastor John Luan. I really appreciate your partnership, uh, your uh, effort for reaching uh, the pastors and workers for training. Uh, thank you for your ministry and especially thanks to uh, Pastor John and I got a lot of information and materials to using uh, training our uh, Bible school students, our co-workers, you know, pastors and youth leaders. So that is really uh, uh, helpful and very wonderful uh, materials for uh, training and to, to equip our uh, workers in Taiwan. I hope and God will uh, bless more your ministry continually and I hope and I pray our partnership will continue to until uh, Jesus come again here in earth. And uh, lastly I want to say thank you Ministry of KCCN and all uh, officials, and especially Pastor John, and maraming, maraming salamat po. Shalom. Of the 20 subjects, one subject has completed in video lecture, and uh, another subject is in the progress. About 8% of progress. Please pray for us and support us so that all subjects can be completed as soon as possible. With a complete course, we are going to visit to the field. We are going to visit the field and gather church leaders and plan to teach with our output to make a first step stone for our partners. We are looking to recruit trainees to join our pastoral leadership certificate course and we would like to build Galayan Biblical Leadership Training Centers together with you one by one. Be our partners. Become a Galayan Biblical Leadership Training Center and uh, please pray for and uh, support us so that we can continue this work. I would like to thank the board members and KCCN steps for their constant dedication. And I give praise and glory to the Lord who is leading all these things only for the kingdom of God. Thank you.